Hi friends, welcome to Active Self Protection Extra here at C2 with my lovely life, wife, Laura. This is ass, yay. And uh, I just wanna run a video today and talk to you and, and have her talk to us a little bit about why I think you probably ought not to teach your spouse how to shoot. Mountain Man Medical has comprehensive but compact trauma kits with name brand quality components. They also have discounts available for firearms instructors, teachers, veterans, and others. Please go check them out at get-asp.com slash mountain man and thank them for sponsoring today's video. We, we haven't rehearsed this, by the way. Uh, uh, dear, why do you think it's such a struggle when spouses try to teach each other to shoot? Um, I think there's a level of intimacy with people that, um, you know, significant others. And so it's really easy to hear things come across in a judgmental way or get defensive about something, what's said is not necessarily meant the way it's taken. Mm. Um, and then whoever's receiving that will then react appropriately to what they feel like they've been told. So I think there's just a communication breakdown that happens and you don't get that with a, a trainer or a, another teacher or somebody outside of your family. I, so it's funny because I really think, so a spouse, a spousal relationship, significant other relationship, whatever, is a relationship of equals, right? Mm -hmm. it, it has to be. Um, if your marriage is not a marriage of equals, that's a parenting relationship. And there's, there's not that, you know, authority like we have. Now, as soon as you get an instructor-student relationship, now that's not a relationship of equals. Right. That's one person is the expert, the other person is not. And so <clears throat> when you give a, a your spouse a... a um, command as we say that's not going to be received well right. because you're not used to treating each other that way and then you as the, the spouse who's learning might go well wait a minute i feel intimidated here because this is your area and your place of expertise <clears throat> and then when you say hey do this thing and you go oh no i don't know how to do it well so you don't do it as well as you can and then they say hey do the thing and you go i'm trying to do the thing and then they're like well i'm just trying to teach you to do the thing and we get this big encoding and decoding problem right. because we go from here to here yeah and that creates this big relational problem. Now, I think this is why, straight up, <clears throat> when we go to the range and stuff like that, if it's learning time, I would far rather pay for my wife to take a class with someone else. It's one of the reasons when Neil comes into town, hey, let's go to the range. Stephanie comes into town, hey, let's go and get that. Because from your BFF, sometimes you can get that and it's cool, right? Right. You're like, oh, this is their bailiwick. But when it's spouses, uh-uh. So she's here to shoot today and straight up, my wife is a very competent shooter, has passed the FBI qual, but is not the shooting enthusiast that I am. I mean, it's not her job, right? She delivers babies for a living. I catch the babies. Okay, you catch the baby. The mom delivers the baby. You just catch the baby. Right. Okay. You you uh, um, consult with and uh, give uh, advice to moms and then catch their babies. Okay. Uh, <laughs> but again, if she asks a question and she wants to know something and she's like, hey, I don't feel like I'm doing very well here. Can you help me with this? Sure, I'll answer questions. But as long as we're being safe, I got a care in the world, have fun, shoot, let me know how I can help you. And that took some, definitely took some time for me at the range with other people, not my spouse, to get used to being comfortable to shoot on my own. Yeah. So, you know, there is that work to put in first. And, and here's my other thing. Again, my wife is not a big shooter, right? Like, uh, again, has her Arizona CCW, uh, you know, is able to shoot, pass an FBI qual, all those things, but, uh, I, when she wants to come to the range, she doesn't come to the range nearly as often as I do. I just get excited. What, you want to come shoot? Heck yes, let's do that. And put all the stuff together. I'll mule all your targets in here. I'll carry all your stuff. I'll even load your magazines for you. Not um, today. Not today. I mean, I was busy <laughs> shooting another video, but uh, you know, again, just be excited about them being willing to shoot, get excited about them being a part of things and let that excitement be what helps you instead. Rather than, oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you all the knowledge that I have. Guys, just let them shoot and have fun. So and sometimes I like to just come, even though I'm not going to be shooting, I'll come and hang out. And we've got the drive time to talk. We've got, you know, I can I can take an interest in things even if I'm not directly shooting. So for some people that aren't at that point yet where um, they want to shoot, go to the range with them. You don't have to shoot but to take an interest in your significant other's passions and joys. Love it. All right, babe. Go shoot. Love you.